Okay. Now we're down here to check this hickory king corn out and maybe knock a few weeds down. Straighten the thing a blade or two of corn up. And you can see right through here probably where this is all chewed off by something. Deer, horse, I don't know what done. Uh, it's awful hot, about 90 degrees. So I might just walk down through here and knock a few little weeds out of the ground. I don't, I'm not gonna hold much today. I do, I'll be ringing wet, just the big ones. Just thought I'd come down here and check this out to see uh, how it was looking. I've not had a hole in here the whole time. Now this corn right here, where that horse got in here, this ain't his first rodeo, but you can look right here and you can tell he's wallowed right here. Wallowed. And it's like I said, he's, uh, he's destroyed five or six right here. This ain't his first rodeo, he's done this before. So, What do you do? Kill a horse or save a cowboy? <laughs> ah. Woo. Yeah, there's lots of weeds that's in here. But the, when the horse gets in and does stunts like this, what's happened is he's got his share. He's done eat his share. So, I don't know, the fence was actually broke. I don't see the horse doing that. I see a deer or something running through it. Let's walk down through here and see what kind of damage is down through here. I'm gonna have to get in here and hoe these weeds out. And I could probably easily, it's a getting, it's a pushing it. I don't know whether I need to cultivate or not. But I cultivated, when I first cultivated it, this was kind of, uh, damp, and it pulled some pretty good clots out that, that really it shouldn't have pulled out. But it's growing, this is Hickory King corn. Lots of weeds coming up. But I'll tell you what, it's easier to chop them out when they get up. <clears throat> when they get up, you know, like they are now. And right there's some old, uh, what do you call them? Wild apricots or passion fruit. They'll climb all over stuff. But it won't take long, this corn, if we get a little rain, which we desperately need for this to jump. And if we could get it to take off, it would uh, it'd choke a lot of these weeds out. But if we don't get it done, the weeds will choke the corn out. Now you can see over here where Elroy's been in here riding the stuff down eating the tops of the corn out. Funny thing is, which ain't funny, I don't see no tracks. Of course, it's too dry, you couldn't see tracks. I think right there. He's broke that fence. I need to go check because he could be going around coming in here. He could be. See, he broke that off, and the suckers is trying to come back there. I'll just let them grow. See, here's one that's been rode over. I mean, it's always one thing or the other. There's a tree up there, bud. I wouldn't get too close to it. It's not really that bad. But you can see, now a lot of these bare spots like right over here, 
that was my fault with a big cultivator because the grass was taking over. It was, uh, it was overpowering the corn and I had to get in here and uh, it was way beyond this hole. The, the, the hole wouldn't have done it. You'd have killed yourself trying to hole this out. So I cultivated it and uh, <laughs> and while I did, I got to going a little bit too fast and uh, covered some of it up. You can see right here, broke off. See this corn broke off right here? Where you've been like a big grouse in here dusting. Now, a lot of bare spots, but there's still a lot of corn in here. But that horse is flirting with disaster. It is flirting with disaster. I like him, but I'll tell you right now, I don't intend to let that horse or no other critter come behind me and destroy everything I do. If I've got any <laughs> option. But it's too hot to be a hoeing today. I thought I'd just come down here and check this Hickory King corn out. I hadn't showed you in a while. But uh, it's like I say, hit this needs chopped which wouldn't take a couple of hours. It's beyond a cultivator, the covering this stuff up now. Beyond it. But them old weeds, they'll get right in there, right beside your corn, and they'll pull every bit of the energy and nutrients and moisture from your corn. Well, you can chop right now. It's time to chop it out. If I could get this weeded before rain, I don't want to disturb the ground too much around it. Because believe me, when I tell you it's it's dry, and that's not a thing. I'm not even going to try to irrigate this field of corn. Not even going to try. It. But I'll show you here in a Get up here, a little open spot. It's like I say, it ain't no big deal to do. It's just doing it. And 90 degrees is not no day to do it. And I don't intend to. So, you come on up here, right there I ought to do it. I'll dig right here. Now, before you get into any significant moisture, right there, so. And that's a good, a good uh, three or four inches down before you get into any moisture. And digging around in here, around these roots, don't do nothing but break that crust. It don't hurt out in the middle. But if you get too close to your corn and you break that crust, you're just releasing what little moisture they are left in there. Do more damage probably than you do good. Anyway, that's the corn patch hat's coming along. This is twice that the housey house has been in here uh, destroying stuff. I don't blame him, but I'll tell you what, he'll leave here if he keeps that up. And that's a fact. All right, it's it's hot, 
<laughs> it's, it's hot, that's all I'm saying. I've seen it worse. Your humidity is up, but it ain't up near as bad as it could be. But uh, you can see right over in here, it's like I say, it's been eat off. Uh, it, I'll tell you what, right through here, he's come right through here, right in there. But he knows not to be in here. He went right down there in the middle and laid down and took him a good dust bath. The fence was broke here. Now, I don't know what broke it. I just, I'm just going to start watching this a little closer. The electric, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. All I know is he broke it. And again, I'm thinking, he might have been, uh, he might, I don't see how he could though. Let's see, I took that down. He could be going into that other flight pen on the other side, and there's a gate on this end. If he went through that flight pen through that gate, he, he'd be right in here. I need to go check that gate. Anyway, just like I said, that's a Hickory King corn, and it's too hot to be out here with a hoe. I mean, you could do it, but it's uncalled for. Really, really don't need to. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wheel around here and see if I can't land this drone safely. I'll just let the camera run, see what happens here. Woo! If I told it to go home, it should land. And uh, let me see if I can't do that. It should come straight out. How do you do that? Stop it and return to home. Now it ought to, it ought to do its thing here. Let's see how far off it is. Cancel. I'm gonna try to land that my hands. See if I can. I'm gun shy of that right there because I've done that once before and I let my thumb or my finger get up into that propeller. And believe me, I didn't like it. It'll cut the dickens out of you. Well, I better turn this off before I... before I start folding things up. But this, it's just miserable hot today. I've seen it hotter. It's discouraging when you come and look at something and, and really discover that there's been some devastation. And it's been the horse. I just don't know what broke the fence. I just don't know what uh, allowed him to get in there. I really don't. I really don't. It is aggravating.
Hmm. That's like you're fighting when you can't see. Put her, put her otter box back on. If I didn't have this, I would have done had this phone. Probably busted. Now. Otter box. La otter. La otter box. Okay, man. That ought to do it. That ought to do it. But anyway, the ho ho housey done a number to it. So, <laughs> that's the way she goes. I'll wheel you around there and show you. You can easily see right in there where it uh, eat the ground off. But there's a lot of corn out there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It surely will. But it's 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 uh, it's thin, and it's dry, and we need rain. Okay, I'll let you go. That'll be it. Thank you.